Next gentleman is uh, Richard Allman from the Stonewall Democratic Club. Yay! Thank you. Stonewall is the city's largest LGBT Democratic Club. We're citywide. We know that a big piece of our work in 2010 is in Queens, and we're going to be very proud to be standing here and working hard alongside everyone here. We know standing next to council member elect Danny Drum that Queens has the kind of LGBT leadership that's going to make a difference. We know standing here with assembly member Jose Peralta that we have the kind of allies we need and the kind of people to represent this district the way it's mm -hmm. supposed to be represented. And yes, Senator Montserrat, in addition to this being political, it's personal because you're standing in the way of me and the man I love and that I intend to spend the rest of my life with, and you will be stopped. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next person is Michael Dendecker. All right. Yeah. Yeah. the 34th assembly district this man does not represent his constituents that's right because if he did he would have looked and saw that the three assembly members that make up his district all co-sponsored this legislation because the assembly members represent the constituents the people who vote for us so the only message that we can send to him is in november or september in a primary when we vote jose our next New York State Senator, yeah. because he will represent our constituents. Yeah! Thank you very much. I'm going to pass it over to Brendan Fay from the Civil Marriage Tri uh, Trail. Yay, Brendan! We gather in New York City within days Human Rights Day, December 10. Really, this is a sad occasion because here in New York City, which for people across the world is a beacon of human rights, of equal rights, this city represents for people liberty and equality for all. It is very tragic that here in this New York State, that political leaders stood in the way of liberty and equality for all. There is no two ways about this. I don't know how you feel. I am angry and I am hurt. I am sad that New Yorkers have to, are really treated like second class citizens in our own state. Are we going to let hate or bigotry or prejudice prevail over our love and our commitment for equal rights? Absolutely not. No. no! I think the fact that we are willing to take to the streets says something about the deep determination of New Yorkers for equal rights. We truly are determined. This is personal. This is about our families. This is about children. This is about the poor, the disabled, and the equal opportunity for everybody to equal rights. We really need to feel the pain that many families feel these days. But you know what? We also feel the determination that we will overcome. And one day we will have true equal marriage rights for everybody. In the meantime, I'm with the Civil Marriage Trail Project. We will continue to help couples cross the border to places like Connecticut, where New Yorkers can travel, be married, and come back and have their marriage recognized here. It is really ironic, in fact, it's downright stupid, that New Yorkers have to go to Connecticut to be married and come back. Let me say this, who is hurt by this? I'll tell you who is hurt. It is the poor for whom traveling and have to take, go to great lengths for this marriage right. The disabled and the elderly. Just this year, I helped uh, two women who were in their 80s. I got a call from a couple in Woodhaven, Pedro and Chuck. Pedro has full blown AIDS and stage four cancer. He said he didn't want to wait for New York. He wasn't going to help them have this, the right to marry. So thank you for coming out today. We will have equality in 
the state someday soon, and Montserrat will be will be discarded to history as much as the prejudice that brought us all out today. Someday we will celebrate a new moment in this community and in this city. Thank you.